Hey, hi, Nick DiGiulio here. How are you? Hey, um, so uh, thank you for uh, subscribing. Subscribe to the YouTube uh, channel if you haven't already. Check me out at patreon.com. Become a patron. You get exclusive videos and all kinds of cool stuff. My podcast launches in the second or third week of January. Uh, when it's available, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Tell everybody. And it's the Nick D podcast on the Radio Misfits uh, podcast network. All right. Uh, so I like to just uh, get in here and just uh, talk and have some fun. And uh, right now, uh, you know, uh, When a Stranger Calls, the original, because there was a remake in the early 2000s, the original from 1979, uh, was, uh, was just on cable. And it got me to thinking um, about movies that have great opening scenes. Now, um, When a Stranger Calls, the original When a Stranger Calls, uh, the first 15 minutes of that movie is fucking great. It's great. Uh, if you don't remember it, Carol Kane plays a babysitter, shows up at a house. Uh, the couple have a couple of kids. They're up in bed already when she gets there. couple goes out to go to dinner. She starts getting weird phone calls where the guy's like, have you checked the children? And uh, so um, so she she gets you know kind of nervous and scared and everything. And, and it goes on and on and on and builds up suspense. She starts getting creepy. The guy is creepier. Have you checked the children? All that stuff. Uh, and then, you know, she calls the police. The police then trace the call. And they call back and say, uh, the call's, from coming from in- the call's coming from inside the house. <gasps> Carol Kane freaks out, runs out the door. And then Charles Durning is standing outside the door. And then that. And then, after that scene, the movie sucks. It sucks. Like, the opening 15 minutes are fantastic. So I got to thinking about movies that have great opening scenes and then right in the Bemis. So that's that's what I'm uh, talking about is great movies that have great opening sequences and then the rest of the movie sucks. Um, and that's definitely the case with uh, When a Stranger Calls, um, which has got this, like I said, fucking fantastic, iconic opening scene. Uh, and now opening scenes are really cool. You know, uh, great opening scenes are, are awesome. You gotta love it. And a lot of really good movies have great opening scenes. If you have a great opening sequence to grab the audience, as long as you, you know, keep them, you know, keep them interested for the running time of the movie, it's awesome. So here are some great movies that have great opening sequences. So these are great opening sequences, and then the rest of the movie delivers, as opposed to the other group there. What do you think? Great opening scenes, and the movie sucks. Leave your comments. So here are some great opening scenes in great movies. Scream. Fantastic opening sequence, which of course is similar to, um, you know, um, When a Stranger Calls. Uh, La La Land, which is one of my favorite movies. Uh, great musical. The opening number of La La Land is fantastic. Social Network. Fantastic opening scene. Uh, one of the uh, times when I actually love Aaron Sorkin's writing. Um, uh, screw that Lucy and Desi movie. But Social Network, amazing. Uh, there Will Be Blood. I don't know how many Paul Thomas Anderson. Magnolia. The opening of Magnolia with all the stories about coincidence and, and all that cool stuff. Uh, uh, Boogie Nights. The opening scene in Boogie Nights with the one take, uh, Best of My Love playing in the setting up the San Fernando Valley in 1977. Uh, so There Will Be Blood, Magnolia, Boogie Nights. The Master has a great opening sequence. Um, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, and again, these are great opening sequences and the movie continues to be great. Raiders has classic great opening sequence that sets the tone for the entire movie uh the remake of the evil dead uh, 2013 fantastic terrifying gross shocking opening scene uh that is not in the original um and sets the tone for the movie baby driver the opening of baby driver fantastic also sets the tone for the movie the credit sequence is great too everything in that movie is great but the opening scene is great uh children of men that incredible opening sequence with the bomb going off in the cafe. Uh, continue, and the movie continues to be great. Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween. Who can forget the opening scene? Uh, subjective point of view. You know, Michael killing his sister. That's amazing. All that jazz. The first ten minutes of All That Jazz is extraordinary. Um, and, uh, you know, it continues to be great. Uh, but, yeah, to George Benson's version of uh, On Broadway. Fantastic. Um, the Matrix, the opening scene where Trinity just kicks everybody's ass. Continue, the movie continues to be great. Um, and uh, there's uh, it, 
a lot of um, Tarantino movies have great opening sequences. Pulp Fiction has a great opening scene. Reservoir Dogs, the scene where they talk about Mr. Pink not tipping and like a virgin and all that stuff. Uh, the uh, oh, uh, Inglorious Bastards has an amazing opening sequence where they're hidden underneath the floorboards. Uh, the first ten minutes of Up. Come on, man. Who doesn't ball their eyes out after the first ten minutes of Up? That's another one. Hurt Locker has a great opening, uh, incredibly strong opening scene. Uh, and again, these are all movies that have great opening scenes and then continue to be great. Drive with Ryan Gosling. That opening sequence, this chase scene is fantastic. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road. You know, it starts off... Mad Max Fury Road is an action movie that starts off where most action movies end. You know, and then it just gets better from there. Uh, Train Spotting, iconic opening sequence. Um, uh, you know, with Lust for Life and establishes all the characters, and then the movie continues to be great. Uh, the Godfather, one of the most you know elegant and amazing and iconic opening scenes of all time. Uh, Two thousand one Space Odyssey, the whole Dawn of Man sequence, amazing. But then that, and again, the whole movie gets great. Uh, the opening, uh, I don't think there is a better opening 10 minutes in a horror movie ever than Dario Argento's original Suspiria. Jesus Christ. The first 10 minutes of the original Suspiria uh, is astonishing. It's astounding, and it's fucking terrifying. I think it's the best opening 10 minutes of any horror movie ever. And then, of course, the movie continues to be great. But then finally, I think the best opening sequence ever for a great movie, Touch of Evil. Uh, Orson Welles amazing film the one take at the beginning where it establishes what's happening the bomb that's put in the car the car going over the Mexican uh, American border establishing the characters of Charlton Heston Janet Lee, uh, the opening tracking shot the whole opening take of Touch of Evil I think best opening scene in the history of movies but the movie continues to be good now on the other hand is the topic that we're talking about here um, great opening sequences for shitty movies uh, I mentioned When the Stranger Calls, uh, the whole Have You Took the Children thing. Great opening 15 minutes of that movie, and the rest of it is terrible. And unsurprisingly, the director of that movie, Fred Dalton... Um, not Fred Dalton. Fred Dalton is the is the uh, the, uh, the the politician who's also an actor. Fred... Uh, I can't remember his name now. Uh, anyway, the director, his first short film was called The Sitter. Uh, and it was a short movie that he did for school... And uh, and it was a this it was the whole thing about this babysitter answering the phone. Have you checked the children? Call her inside the house. So it doesn't. Fred Walton, sorry, Fred Walton, is the director. So uh, you know you've got this short film. He basically takes that short film, does it again better with Carol Kane, and then didn't bother to write another hour and a half worth of stuff. So the opening of When a Stranger Calls is fantastic. By the way, they did he did steal that though. From Black Christmas, the original Black Christmas, uh, the Bob Clark movie, the whole the callers coming from inside the house, that's taken directly from Black Christmas. All right, so other movies that have great openings and then fall apart. Way of the Gun, Christopher McQuarrie's first uh, directorial debut. Uh, again, another, it came out during that whole let's try to make Quentin Tarantino movies, but the opening is great. Ryan Flippy, Philippe, uh, and Benicio del Toro, uh, they're in it like a, a standoff with a crazy couple. Uh, the opening is great. It's very funny. Uh, and then the whole rest of the movie goes downhill. There are moments in the rest of the movie, but that opening is fantastic. Sarah Silverman, by the way. Unbelievable. So, Way of the Gun. Great opening, terrible movie. Crooklyn. Uh, not a very good movie, but that opening sequence, uh, the, the title sequence and everything, Spike Lee's movie, really sets the tone. Beautiful use of music. Capturing that period of time in Brooklyn. Um, really wonderful stuff. And then the rest of the movie, unfortunately, not so good. Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine, which is a terrible movie, but man, that opening, establishing the relationship between Logan and his brother, where you've got, um, you know, Hugh Jackman and uh, Leif Shriver doing all kinds of crazy action stuff throughout history, establishing this great opening scene, and then the rest of the movie, X-Men Origins, pff, terrible, but a great opening scene. Uh, the Lion King, I'm not a fan, really, of the animated movie, but that opening scene... Uh, the Circle of Life thing establishes everything, establishes the character, establishes the history. Beautifully, beautifully done. The rest of the movie, didn't really care about, wasn't involved, didn't like it very much. But the opening scene of The Lion King, extraordinary. Great opening scene, not a great movie. Um, uh, Saving Private Ryan, 
the opening of Saving Private Ryan, the first 15 to 20 minutes, is uh, incredible. Uh, it's, it is, it, it, it's, it's intense, it's terrifying, it throws you right in the middle of, uh, of war, of battle, um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just intense and shattering and amazing. And so that opening scene... Uh, the Normandy scene is unbelievable, and then the rest of the movie poof, becomes stereotypical crap nonsense we've seen a million times before. So, but that opening scene of Saving Private Ryan is astonishing. Uh, the Dark Knight, another terrible movie, but with a really strong opening scene. Uh, the bank heist at the beginning of the movie, which features two of my friends, uh, two people that I know very well, um, who both get killed in that opening scene. Um, they play. Uh, two of the clowns uh, during the uh, the bank robbery at the beginning of the movie. Uh, yeah, great, great opening heist sequence uh, for The Dark Knight, and then poof, right down the toilet for the rest of the movie. Um, the Hunger. The Hunger. Uh, the vampire film that Tony Scott made with David Bowie, Catherine Deneuve, Su- Susan Sarandon. There are things in that movie that, that I like overall, but it's n- nowhere near as good as the first five minutes. First five minutes of The Hunger... Uh, again, establishing the visuals, the visual style, cinematography, smoky, very 80s, the, you know, the, the, the clothing and the hairstyles and all that stuff, um, establishes the characters of David Bowie and Catherine Deneuve, the whole vampire thing, and it's all done beautifully, and it's all done to uh, Bauhaus's Bela Lugosi's Dead, with Peter Murphy performing it. Uh, great opening five minutes, The Hunger, great opening five minutes. The rest of the movies, it's not good, um, you know, it's not, it's not awful. But it's nowhere near as good as the opening of of the movie. Uh, So, uh, I forgot to mention Blade, one of the greatest opening scenes ever. I still like the rest of the movie, but one of the most amazing opening scenes ever. I remember I I went to go see Blade thinking, this is going to be shit. Because uh, Wesley Snipes had done, like, Passenger 57 and, uh, uh, like, the movie where, hey, there's problems at the White House. Um, You know, and he did, like... uh, Boiling Point, and he did all these like really shitty action movies, and I was like, "Well, this is gonna suck." Then that opening scene in Blade, I remember thinking it was like the, one of the best opening scenes I've ever seen. The rave party at the beginning, when then Blade shows up, just starts killing vampires, kicked ass. The rest of the movie's good too, but that opening is amazing. And then I forgot to mention Lord of War. Lord of War, a solid um, Nicolas Cage movie, and the opening is this incredible sequence, uh, the birth of a bullet, like how a bullet is made. From its from the inception all the way until it shows up in a in, in a gun, uh, and it's great. And that movie, by the way, Lord of War. Look up the original one sheet poster for that movie. One of the best movie posters ever. Now, for my money, the best example of an extraordinary, an awesome, a kick ass, an unbelievably great opening sequence for a shitty movie is Final Destination Two. Final Destination Two, which is you know, one of the many dumbass Final Destination movies where it's just like, how many, you know, imagine, you know, incredible ways can we think of to kill teenagers? Uh, in, in, you know, let's make it as, as imaginative and complicated way to kill off teenagers as possible. Uh, the movie's pretty much, on, on, on the whole, they pretty much suck. But the second one, the second Final Destination, uh, the first 20 minutes of that movie, the first 15, 20 minutes of that movie, fucking amazing. Amazing, and then it settles into the regular stupid ass Final Destination nonsense, where it's like teenager, oh look, he stepped on something that kills him or whatever, you know, uh, death comes for the teenagers for the rest of the movie. But the opening scene of Final Destination Two, one of the best car sequences, uh, one of the best stagings of uh, of car accident and car mayhem. Uh, it's beautifully established. It all takes place on um, on a highway. Uh, and it sets up all the different vehicles that are there. A big, you know, a big truck with a bunch of uh, lumber on it. Uh, motorcycles and different cars. They establish the characters uh, in broad strokes. Who's driving what car? What's happening? Uh, you get a real great... David uh, Ellis directed the movie. And you get a real great lay of the land. Like, you know exactly where every car is. You know what's going on on the road at all times. And uh, when the shit hits the fan and it becomes like this insane bit of mayhem with incredible car crashes and demolitions and destruction. Uh, it is just this in, 
ridiculously insane, over the top, uh, mass car pile up, truck pile up, massive destruction on a highway, and death, and crashes, and explosions, and trucks, and motorcycles, and boats, and cars, people dying. It is absolute insane highway, car, truck mayhem. Vehicle, absolute mayhem. Some of the greatest car, truck crashes, mashup, pileups ever. Uh, the setup is amazing. The execution is unbelievable. The highway mayhem destruction sequence at the beginning of Final Destination 2 is incredible. Incredible. And you had nowhere else to go but down after that opening scene. Uh, I have ser seriously sat down and watched the opening sequence, the opening 20 minutes of, of Final Destination 2, like, repeatedly. I've, I've sat down and watched it three times in a row. Just that first 15, 20 minutes with the, with the mayhem on the highway. It's fucking amazing. It's amazing. And for my money, best opening sequence to a shitty movie ever. But yeah, uh, great opening scenes to bad movies. When a Stranger Calls, The Dark Knight, Saving Private Ryan. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot Ghost Ship. Oh my God, Ghost Ship. Right there, right up there with uh, Final Destination 2. Right up there. Uh, Ghost Ship, terrible, stupid uh, horror movie from the early 2000s. Uh, I don't even remember what it was about. I remember it was about a ghost. There were ghosts on a ship. I don't know. It was a ship and it was a fucking ghost. I don't know. All I know is that the movie begins with a flashback um, on this boat, on this ship, and there's a, a ball happening, a, a, a dance, a, a big you know reception and a dance, and... Um, uh, there's like a hundred of people on this boat. They're having this wonderful, fancy reception. I don't know what the occasion was, but it was a fancy reception and a dance. And at one point, all of the people get up in their period clothing. I think it was in the, took place in the 20s or the 30s or something like that. And uh, they get up on this ship and they're having this wonderful, beautiful, uh, formal dance, you know, reception party. And they're dancing and there's hundreds of people. It's all set up on the deck. And then a mysterious person hits this cable, cuts it loose, and has rigged it so that um, um, a, a, a cable covered in razor like swings down and goes through all of the guests as they're standing up and dancing. So, you know, you've got this thing, and boom, 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 boom. So this cable with a blade on the end of it goes through all these people. You don't really know what happens. This is blade. So there's a huge cable with a blade on it, like goes through like a hundred people who are at this party. And then slowly, you realize that people have been cut in half, and their bodies start to, the top part of their body starts to slip off, and hands, if they were up in the air, start to slip up. And basically, this blade, this cable, this mysterious villain, has basically chopped people in half, like a hundred people in half. And the whole sequence is just bodies falling apart, heads falling off, half bodies sliding off, blood falling everywhere. It was just a gigantic group of of people are murdered by, by a swinging, sharpened blade that cuts them in half, that cuts all of these bodies in half. It's fucking awesome. It's awesome. Ghost Chip. Just watch the first ten minutes of Ghost Chip. People getting cut in half. Fantastic. Then the rest of the movie sucks. So, Ghost Chip is another one way up there. You know, hundreds of people. You open up a movie with like a hundred people getting sliced in half and slowly like their bodies falling apart. I'm in, man. I'm in. Unfortunately, the rest of the movie sucks. So, uh, so those are those are great opening sequences in shitty movies, and the best of all time being Final Destination Two. And I thought of that because When a Stranger Calls has been making the rounds on cable, uh, and that opening twenty minutes. Have you checked the children with Carol Kane, who by the way was way too old to be playing like a a high school babysitter. I know she always looked young, but she she played a high school b babysitter in that movie. At the same time, she was playing Latka's wife on Taxi. No. <laughs> I know, she, it's the voice, it's the way... She still looks like she's 18, Carol Kane. But I always thought it was weird, because I knew who Carol Kane was when I saw that movie. I'm like, isn't she... Shouldn't she need a babysitter for her kids, Carol Kane? Anyway, have you checked the children? Ooh. Great opening, terrible movie. All right. Anyway, hey, leave your comments. If you, if you can think of movies that have amazing opening scenes and the rest of it is shit, add it. Please, learn. Okay, thanks. Subscribe to my podcast when it's happening. We'll see you soon.